Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle no question that this is one of the great capital venues of the netherlands the johan cruyff arena amsterdam plenty looking forward to seeing this a capacity crowd here yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my my level of greed here So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Tries a shot! Not to surprise the keeper, but missed the target. Look, you've got to have the perfect feel in your boots to, uh, to pull those off. Insigne tries to switch the play. Ferrari. How about a sh oh, shooting chance? Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Panucci. Insigne with the crossfield ball. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Berardi. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Spain cannot keep hold of the ball. It's got through to him. Donnarumma gets rid without sophistication. He's there to shoot a goal! Good idea, just poorly executed. Immobile has a pop! Oh, sweet as you like! About as smooth as it gets! Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day.
Italy put themselves into the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Rodri. Played back in. Spinazzola, and it's played forward. Locatelli, looking cross-fit. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays, they can certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. That's the start of another 45 minutes. Spain need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Locatelli. Spinazzola. Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. Chiellini. Well positioned to make that interception. Berardi, he does have an assist to his name. Berardi has got himself a free kick. Found his man. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Takes it over to the other flank. And here's Berardi. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, needed a better pass there. Has a goal! Just brushed off the ball there. Bonucci. Bonucci goes looking. Locatelli. And here's Insigne. Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. Look, their path is set. They have to take risks in every situation now. Gets it back. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Managed to get that all wrong. And the referee brings it to a close. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threatened, and this was about as insipid as it comes. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.